so in this video we will learn how to implement drop down list for the department and also date picker for our date of joining field so the department that we currently have is these five i think one two three four four finance it support and operations so on click of this department i want to populate a drop down list so that the users can select from the default i mean the, the created department names so let's start implementing that uh, let's go to the employee add employee model dot js and uh, let's add a new state inside the this dot state and call it as departments so i want to fetch the department's details okay and then let's have a component did mount method so when all the components are rendered so we have the component component did mount inside that we'll have a fetch method so what we want to fetch is the m the department details not the employee details so we're going to fetch the department details <coughs> department details and once the fetch is done then we're going to get the response and convert it to the json format response dot json then we're gonna get the data whatever is available what we do with the data is not date it is data what we do with the data here is set this dot set state what should we have to set we have to set this department object to the data put a semicolon there and a semicolon here which should complete our component date bound we are fetching all the department details and putting it inside the depart DEPS object so now we have to add a drop down to the department um, field <coughs> and then populate it using the DEPS or the department's object. Let me delete everything in here and uh, what we need is form dot control. Okay, so inside form dot control we have to write as equal to select okay that's we want to that's what we have to write and then we're gonna write the we're gonna use the object right so this dot state dot the object name was dps dot map we have the dp object what should we do with the DEP object is to send it here have to send it inside the option tag let's have an option and the key will be equal to DEP sorry DEP dot department ID okay and uh, the value will be DP dot department name so that should be it let's check if it is working let's click on add employee and we can see we are able to populate all the department names as a drop down so we can select the one which we want and then the next thing that we want to do is we want to select the uh, we want to put date date picker for our date of joining text field so that's very simple just go to the date of joining 
just replace the text with date and that should solve our issue so we have the drop down here and a date picker here okay so that should be it let's try testing it let's add a employee and um, Mary one two three at the rate of gmail dot com let's click on add employee and uh, there's some issue so we have employee name equal to employee to employee name so we have some issue let's check that out <coughs> in the post method we have employee name okay so it should be employee name so let's try that again let's have Mary as the employee employee name Mary123 and uh, the date should uh, be Wednesday let's click on add now fail to add okay okay let's debug this click on add so let's check what are the values that we are getting here employee id is fine department is also fine employee name is fine mail id is also fine let's check what is the issue So conversion failed when converting date and or time from character string. So we have a date issue. Okay. So let me just analyze so until that maybe I can pause the video so I have uh, found out the issue so basically we have uh, the employee stable here and we have a date column but somehow the API we are sending uh, date time right so I just converted it, it uh, into a date something like this it's a quick fix no I don't think this is a uh, uh, you know efficient way of doing it but still it's a quick fix what I've done I've taken the date of joining I mean the employee date of joining and uh, split it based on uh, space and to remove the time part I just need a date part so I took the date part so let me just debug and show you that I'll click on add employee I'll add Mary finance IT one two three I'll choose the date and I'll click on add employee so you can see here the date of joining is having a date and a time as well so which is causing some issue with the while inserting into the table so what I just did I converted that into just the date if you can observe so we have only the date here this is originally what was sent was uh, the date time so I have just converted that into just date and I am sending it so I'll click on continue and if you check the value we are able to insert it so 
so let's try adding one more we'll add John into support in the operations I say John one two three four at the rate of gmail.com and uh, date of joining we'll keep it as third click on add employee so we got added successfully message okay